Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for this video because I am making one of the Spotify glass artwork. Someone shared this on TikTok and it's been so popular all over the Cricut community. I decided I had to do a tutorial because they just turn out so cool and I wanted to show how I put mine together. I just want to mention I do not think Spotify allows for commercial use to sell these, but they are fun to make for yourself or they make great gifts as well. First, I'm going to start off in Spotify. I just went to spotify.com. Then I went into the search box and typed in All For You, which is a Keith Urban song. That was the song that my husband and I danced to at our wedding. So that is the song that I'm going to be using for this project. After clicking on that, just select the song and find it down here. Then you'll go over to these three dots You'll select that and hit copy song link. After doing that, then I have the next screen open. This is spotifycodes.com. That is where you will get the code for your song. So I'm just gonna select in here and delete this. I am just going to right click and hit paste. I'll hit get Spotify code. So this will make a code specifically for that song. I am going to save it. Over here, the only thing that I'm going to change is make it an SVG. SVG files are the easiest to use in Cricut Design Space, so I definitely would change it to SVG. Then just click download. Now I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click on my uploads. So here is right here. I am going to click open. I'll hit save and insert this into Cricut Design Space. As you can see, there's a black box behind it. I don't want that black box, so I'm gonna go down to my layers. You can see it down at the bottom layer. I am just going to hide that. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my uploads and upload another image. This part you don't have to do, but for me it made it easier to design this. I'll hit complex and continue. I'll hit continue again. I'm going to save this as a print and cut, bring this into Cricut Design Space. I'm not going to be printing this or doing anything with it. I am just going to use it to give me an idea on how I want to design this. To get this image, all I did was pull up this song on my iPhone and I took a screenshot of it. Then I just emailed the picture to myself. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Also, you can find some SVGs that people have made with just this bottom part right here. If it's easier, then you can try to download or buy one of those, but I am actually just going to make one out of Cricut Design Space images and shapes. It'll have everything except for the uh, repeat and shuffle. I can't remember. I think this one's shuffle and this one's repeat, and it won't have these two little things. But other than that, you can make everything else out of shapes. The next thing that I'm going to do is grab a shape. I'm going to make this shape the size of my glass plate, which is 8 inches by 10 inches. So I'm going to unlock the square and go up to my sizing, make it 8 by 10. Then I'm just going to make this a white color. And I'm going to use this to line everything up. I'm going to right click and hit send it back. Now what I'm going to do is make these pieces. At first I had grabbed the shapes in Cricut Design Space, but as you can see, these are a little bit rounded. So I decided to look in Cricut Design Space images. I found some of these shapes and they were all free. I also found a heart in Cricut Design Space that looked like this. So let me go over to my images and I'm just going to type in heart. Look for that one first. Here's the heart that I'm going to use because it's rounded. I'm also going to slice this out to make it look like the heart that is on Spotify. You can see that it's free here. If I click on information, this is the code if you need that, if you're having troubles finding it. I'm going to insert that one. Then I'm going to go back to images and I'm going to search for a rounded rectangle. I'm going to use this one, and as you can see, that one is free as well. The last thing I'm going to do is look for a rounded triangle. Here's another rounded one, and that one is free as well. 
First, I am going to grab this heart. I wanna make it look like this one. I like how that looks. So you can see there's two layers if you come over to the layers panel. What I'm gonna do is just slice this. It'll slice this inner heart out of here. So I'll just click on slice. At first it looks like it didn't do anything, but you can see over in the layers panel it says slice result. So all you have to do is select this and move it over and it has this little piece here. I am going to delete both of these. I am going to change my color to black. I'm just going to make it smaller. Then I'll just bring it up here. I am going to line everything up after I make all of these. Next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a circle, make the little play button. I'm going to make it look like it is showing the pause button, which makes it look like it's playing. I've probably put too much thought into this. I was going back and forth if I wanted it to be the play button or the pause, and I'm going to do the pause. And actually, I think I have a different image of it with it paused. Let me look. Okay, I'm actually going to look at this one so that I can see about what size to make that. So I'm going to insert this one instead. So I'm going to delete this one. I want this one to kind of see how I want to do my pause button. So now I'm just going to turn this black. Also, I am going to grab this rectangle. I'm going to ungroup this and I am just going to get rid of this inner square. Then I am going to change this to black. Actually, I'm going to change it to white. I am going to hit unlock and I'll try to make it about the size of the pause button. Now I am just going to duplicate this and bring it over here. And to line this up, I'm just going to select both of these. I'll just hit shift on my keyboard and select those two. Then I am going to go up to align and select align to bottom. It looks like it was lined up pretty well. Now what I'm going to do is go down here and hit weld. You don't want to group it or attach it because I'm actually going to slice these out. You only can slice two layers at a time. So with those two selected, hit weld. Then I am going to hit shift again and select the circle. So I have both of these selected. I'm going to go back up to a line and I want to center this. Now with both of these still selected and with it centered, I am going to come down and hit slice. I just think it is easier to have this sliced out when I cut it out. So that looks great. I'm just going to make it a little smaller, bring it up here. I'm going to delete this one. Now I still want one of these rounded rectangles for this right here. You could just go back in and select that again, or I'm just going to go to contour and just get rid of one of those. Now I'm going to take my triangle. I am going to ungroup this and get rid of this piece. Then I am going to select this. I am going to turn it to make this skip button. I'm going to hit shift on my keyboard and rotate this if I can. You want to hit shift on your keyboard so it turns it exactly the right way. So now I'm just going to make this smaller. Then I am going to bring this over. I am going to make this bigger. To me, it looks like these are lined up together, so what I'm actually going to do is try to line this up. Actually, I think I'm going to make it the same height. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to double click over my height, I'm going to hit Control or Command C on my keyboard. That will copy that. Then I'm going to grab this and I'll double click and hit Command or Control V. I'll hit Enter. That just makes it the exact same size. Now I'm going to bring this back over. I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to hit align and I'll hit align to bottom. This project will be using a lot of the align button. Now I want to weld these together. So I'll select weld. There you have that. Now what I want to do is I am going to duplicate this so that we have both of these. Now I'm going to go up to flip. I'll hit flip horizontally. Hopefully I am not doing this too fast. I'm going to bring these up here and I'm going to make all of these smaller first. 
I'm not going to line this up just yet still though. Now I'm just going to do this piece. I want that rounded rectangle again. I'm just going to go to images and grab that. I am going to hit shift again and turn this. Then I'm going to hit unlock and make this longer and smaller so it looks like that. It looks like it goes almost the whole way across, so I'll bring it over as far as I can. Now I am just going to grab another circle. I'm going to try to put a circle around the same spot. Actually, I'm just going to move this back down here. Now I want to make sure this is lined up also, so I'm going to drag over both of these, or you can hit shift on your keyboard. I'm going to hit align, and I am going to hit center vertically, and that'll bring it right in the center. You don't want to click center because that'll move the circle to the middle, so center vertically will put it right in line. Then I am going to hit weld while both of those are already attached. I am going to make this black as well. Now I'm going to try to size it a little bit, but I kind of want to wait until my words in here to fully size it. But I'm going to make these quite a bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to delete that one, kind of line this one up first. I might want to make this a little bit smaller even. You can see it's a little smaller, and I might make that just a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to duplicate this again and flip it again. I also want to space these out evenly. You can see it's not spaced out at all. I'm going to hit shift and select all three of these. I'm going to hit align and I'm going to hit both of these. I want to distribute horizontally. Then I want to hit distribute vertically. For now, I'm just going to group this together since it's all lined up. I'll be moving these around a little bit more, but now what I want to do is my text. The font that I'm going to be using is called Made Tommy. I downloaded this off of defont.com, which is free for personal use. If you don't know how to download a font from defont.com, I have a video for a Windows computer and a Mac computer that I will link down below if you haven't done that before. I'm going to click on text and I've already downloaded that font. So I'll search for the name Made Tommy. First, I'm going to type in all for you. For some reason, with this font, the spacing is so weird in Cricut Design Space. What you can do is go up to ungroup, select these letters, and space them out a little bit. But what I'm actually going to do is go into my text edit on my Mac computer. I just showed this on my TikTok hack video if you've seen that. It's kind of a nice way to get your text lined up. You don't have to do this, but for me, it's just easier. I am going to come up here and select my font. I'm also going to make this a lot bigger. I'll type in all for you. As you can see, it spaces it out the correct way. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Then I am just going to take a screenshot. So on a Mac, it's shift command four. On a Windows computer, you just search for the snipping tool. So I'm going to hit Shift Command 4. I'll just save this to my photos and bring it into my downloads. Now I'm going to delete this and type in Keith Urban. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to delete this. You definitely don't have to go through all those steps if you don't want to. You can just space this out, but for me, I just thought it was easier. It actually turns it into an image, so I'm going to upload both of these real quick. And you want to have your magic wand selected and delete all the white. Then I'll upload this other image. Now I'll just insert these into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'm going to bring Keith Urban over here and I'm going to make it smaller. 
then I'll bring all for you over. I want this bigger than Keith Urban. I'm gonna bring my heart up a little bit and I might make it just a tiny bit smaller. I still need to line this up a little bit better, but the last part I'm gonna do is the little numbers. You do not have to do this part. I haven't tried cutting it out, so we'll see if it can cut out those tiny numbers, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna click on text and keep the same font. I'll just do the same numbers here. So I'll do 48 seconds and I'll make that smaller. I want to make the height the same for these. Highlight over my height and hit Command C. Then I'll grab this. I am going to hit Command V or Control V. I'll hit Enter and it just makes it the same size. Now I'm just going to line everything up. Now I want to align everything on this side to the left so it's all lined up. As you can see over here, it's all lined up to the left. So I am going to hit shift on my keyboard and select all of these, which, are, which is these three. Then I'm going to hit align left. So that looks a little bit better. Then I'm going to grab this heart and I want the heart to be lined up with this. So I will grab that piece and I'll hit align right. So it moves that heart over a little bit. Oh, you know what? I should have grabbed the numbers. I am gonna grab the 48 seconds in this line. I'm going to hit align left. I'll do the same thing for the time for this one. And I'll hit align right. This is when the align tool comes in really handy. <laughs> okay, I think that looks really good. Now that we have all these pieces lined up, I am going to select over just these. I am going to hit attach. Now I'm going to bring my white square back in. I am going to make sure that this piece, this piece, and the last one is all centered down the middle. So I'm going to grab the Spotify code and I'm going to hit shift and select the square. Then I'm going to hit align center horizontally. Then I'm going to take this one and select my square again and I'll hit center horizontally and this last one I will do the same thing. Now I have it lined up how I want it. There was a lot of steps with that, a lot of aligning, so hopefully I didn't go too fast. It's fun to create your own, but you can also buy an SVG and just add the wording too if you find that easier. The next part that I'm going to do is add my photo. I'm going to go to uploads and upload a picture of my husband and I. So I'll click on browse and I'm actually going to do one of our engagement pictures. This was nine years ago, so it was a while ago. Now I'm going to hit continue. I'm saving it as a print and cut image. I'll click on save. I'll select the image and insert this into Cricut Design Space. And then I am going to grab a square. I want to crop this so it will fit right in this part right here. I'm going to go to shapes and grab a square. I'm going to make it five inches for the width. I might move this down just a tiny bit. I feel like five inches is a little too big, so I might just move it in just a little bit. I think that's a good size. I have it at about 4.7. I would say around 4.5 to 5 inches for the width would be good. Now I'm going to bring this down. What I'm going to do is just line this up over this image. I'm actually going to make this smaller so that it fits the square. I'm going to just drag over both of these and I will hit slice. I'm just going to move this out of the way. I have this piece. I'm going to delete everything but the picture. Then I'm just going to bring this up here. I just made this just a tiny bit smaller. I have everything lined up how I like it. I am going to delete my rectangle and I'm going to delete this. Then I am going to drag over all of this, everything but the picture, and I'm going to attach it. It changes it to white, but I am going to be cutting it out on black vinyl. I will go up here and switch it to black. 
when it does that, it took away some of the other pieces in here, which was really weird. I think it was something with the SVG. I tested out cutting this out and it still cut it out correctly. So hopefully it'll cut it out correctly the second time. But now I have all of this attached together so it'll cut out exactly like this for me. And then this will be doing print and cut. I am going to click on make it. First, it is going to do the print thin cut part, and then second, it will cut out the vinyl. So I'll choose continue. Now I'm going to select send a printer. You'll want to leave the bleed on and this use system dialog. I would recommend selecting that because then you can make some changes before you print. I'll select print. On this screen, what I want to do is click on best, then it makes the image just a little bit better. That's all I'm going to change and I will click print. I'm printing this out on my Epson printer. I get a lot of questions about my printer, but unfortunately it is discontinued, but any inkjet printer should be fine. Now it'll say printed, then I am going to choose my material. I'm going to be adding clear contact paper on top, so I'm actually going to search for clear printable sticker paper and this setting has worked well for me. I'm using full sheet shipping labels for my sticker paper. You can use any printable vinyl or paper for this. I place this on my blue light grip mat and I like to use my brayer tool to press it down to prevent the ink from smudging. I'm using duck brand contact paper to place over this matte paper. This helps protect the sticker and makes it glossy. I just prefer the glossy look. I carefully set the contact paper down and use my scraper tool to remove any bubbles. The Cricut will read the black registration lines, then it'll cut out around the picture. Now that it's cut out the print and cut, I am going to change the material setting to vinyl. I'm using black Oracle 651 vinyl. I've seen this done with white vinyl as well. Oracle 651 vinyl is my favorite permanent vinyl to use. It cuts really nicely and I haven't had any troubles with the vinyl picking up. Now I'm weeding out the excess vinyl. Just a warning, the numbers were incredibly hard to weed out, especially the colon and the numbers. As you can see, I lost those and the four, so I had to cut those out again. After cutting those back out, I used my weeding tool to help me put them on. I would say try it if you want it on there, but it might be easier just to skip the numbers. Now I'm adding my transfer paper. I buy this from Expressions Vinyl and I highly recommend it. It is so amazing. It works really well with picking up the vinyl. I'll have it linked down below if you have been on the search for a good transfer paper. Here is my 8x10 glass. You can just buy Dollar Tree frames and take the glass out of it. I had one at home that I wasn't using so I just used that for this project. First, I just cleaned the glass, then I added my picture. I ended up changing it to our wedding picture after I was done with this video, and this paper stuck down really well because it was difficult to take off, but that's why the final picture looks different than this one. I would also recommend using a ruler to line it up. I felt like it was just a little uneven. Then I just add my vinyl design. These just turn out so cool. Here I'm testing out scanning the code. So if you go into your Spotify app, then select the search bar. After that, choose the camera and scan the code. It will automatically start playing. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions since it was a lot of designing in Cricut Design Space. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. And I hope you have a great day.